So, the Fiat is running. And what was all the fuss about? Well, as you can probably tell by the background, we're at a wedding. So the reason for all the haste to get the car going uh, and get it all cleaned and polished. So, here goes. Hmm, that's all right for a first pass. Was for a friend's wedding. So this is going to be the car that the bride goes to the church in and comes back to the farm after the wedding. And luckily she's done us proud. We're here, we've traveled about 35 miles north to, uh, to get the car to where the farm is, where the wedding is happening. Um, and yeah, we just handed the keys over and uh, the bride's brother is gonna drive her to the wedding. So result was all worthwhile. Well, we made it back in one piece. The little Fiat, bless it, did well. We traveled about 40, 45 miles north. Uh, it served the bride and groom very well for their wedding. And we've traveled the 45 odd miles back home with relatively little problem. I did have a bit of a fuel starvation and an idling problem after a uh, enthusiastic drive, shall we say. Uh, so I think I got everything into a little bit warm and we were getting a bit of fuel evaporation in the carburetor. Uh, once I let it cool down, it was absolutely fine. And I drove the rest of the way in a bit more of a sedate fashion and she's behaved very nicely. Some of the little gremlins that we had when we first got it out, like the fuel gauge not working, have rectified themselves, which goes to show these sort of old cars really need to be used as often as possible. And I have one top tip from today that I'd forgotten. The joy of driving this little car is if you want to get noticed, don't buy a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or an Aston Martin, buy a 1960s Fiat because literally everywhere this car goes, people come over and they ask one of two questions. Either one, what is it? I've never seen one before, it's beautiful. Or two, oh my God, my mom, dad, insert relative, or I used to own one of those many years ago and we sold it for 50 quid um, and I haven't seen one for 30 years. 
So it really is great fun to get a lot of uh, a lot of appreciation for the car, uh, and it I mean it does stand out like a sore thumb on these these roads today, but uh, but yeah, if you want to get noticed, buy a 1960s Fiat. So that's all for this episode of Project Cars from Automotive Tales. If you'd like to see more of these sorts of projects and the rest of the Automotive Tales fleet, then uh, do sort of like, share and subscribe uh, and uh, bleep bloop as a comment down below. So until next time and our next adventure, take care. Bye for now. God, I need to have a dog, it's a bit...